from the competitive standpoint, it really just keeps people goal-oriented. Air Force Senior Airman Tyler McMillan Womack and his fellow team members from the 20th Civil Engineer Squadron from Shaw Air Force Base, South Carolina, took part in the second annual Eastern National Robot Rodeo and Capabilities Exercise at Dobbins Air Reserve Base, Georgia, in late August. We worked with the Army team yesterday at the airport, and they had a different mindset on how to attack certain things, which was interesting and helped out some. This year's Robot Rodeo showcased some of the latest and greatest in technologically advanced explosive ordnance disposal robots in the world. What we're trying to identify is what are the current capabilities of current robotic technologies and where are their limitations. Although several civilian public safety bomb squads as well as U.S. and international military EOD teams competed against each other for five days straight, they ultimately all worked together in the name of interoperability so that the various agencies can function smoothly together in a crisis situation. I've worked a little bit with the Navy and other branches but never with uh, a British team. We've really been able to gel a bit with the US and uh, it's been really good for that, that whole joint coalition type piece. Colonel Tanya Anderson, director of the Air Force Civil Engineer Center Readiness Directorate, not only spent an entire day touring each of the seven scenarios, but she also operated some of the specialized robots made available to the participants by several vendors from around the globe. We get that hands on, but we give them also some instant feedback. When you're on the outside looking in, you think it should be a pretty simple task, but when you actually get the hands on, you kind of understand the skill set and the specifics and the details that a lot of our team members need to have. Several AFCAC EOD team members are involved in the organization, coordination, and execution of the event each year along with other partners. It further advances the technology available to our public safety and our explosive ordnance disposal bomb technicians and you know just helps save lives in the long run. Reporting for the Air Force Civil Engineer Center, I'm Brian Godden.